In January 2020, two best buds and I experienced a glorious adventure flying the Caribbean. And now, in the age of COVID, I feel a yearning to revisit that adventure. In part one of this series, we'll shoot the RNAV approach into Providenciales, in real life, then on the home simulator. All right, this is gonna be good fun. An instrument approach into a busy airport on a busy weekend. And approach control instructs us to fly the hold. And we're not alone. A WestJet 737 is cleared inbound 1,000 feet below us. Meanwhile, a Delta A320 enters the hold, settling in above us 1,000 feet. Making it all the more interesting, this approach controller is also a handling tower, all without radar. He must have used our position reports to slide his tickets around, much like battleships on the ocean. So now, in the spirit of the journey, let's revisit this RNAV approach in the home simulator. We join the leg from the initial approach fix Advil to Benos and sync the heading book. At this point, our combined approach and tower controller instructs us to fly the hold at Benos, maintaining 3000. As we near Benos, we switch the autopilot to heading mode, and most importantly, confirm the lateral and vertical modes in the autopilot command line. The flight plan auto sequences to the leg inside Benos, and we can therefore use the CDI to identify crossing Benos and initiate our turn outbound in the hold. We'll start the timer for our one minute outbound leg. And now turn inbound. We use the CDI as a visual aid to intercept the inbound course. The flight plan has advanced to the next leg, so how do we identify crossing Benos? We know from the chart that Benos is 5.0 miles outside Emuso. So we're off on our second turn in the hold as that simulated Delta A320 loops only a thousand feet above. Skipping forward, we dial ourselves inbound on our third turn in the hold. To be doubly certain, 
we activate the inbound leg to a muso. We can now switch to nav mode to intercept the course. And once cleared by ATC, arm the approach mode. And, as always, confirm these modes on the command line. We check the glide path indicator and are pleased that it's properly above us. And we also confirm we're on target for airspeed. The glide path is coming in, so we watch the command line to assure capture. With the first notch of flaps, we get the expected momentary pitch up. Difficult to do in the real world, but on the sim we can adjust time of day to help visualize the runway environment. second notch of flaps. Time to give our friend George a break and hand fly. Welcome to Busy Provo, Turks and Caicos. I know, a bit of a float, but hey, I've had worse landings. Thanks for flying with us, and keep an eye out for more episodes of The Caribbean Revisited.